Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are you concerned about the health risks of a high oxalate diet? In this video, I'll share oxalate facts and myths video. What is oxalate? Oxalate and kidney stones. Is oxalate toxic? How your body removes toxins? What's a low oxalate diet? And high and low oxalate foods. I published High Oxalate Foods, Facts and Myths in August 2019. It's always been a controversial video. 2023 brought an increased number of negative comments. As of May 2023, my video averaged about 5,000 views a month. One would think the video had 50,000 or more views a month. So why the sudden increase in negative comments? Is there significant new research linking a high oxalate diet to kidney stones and chronic diseases? According to one comment, there's over 100 years of data about the dangers of a high oxalate diet. But more research is needed. After 100 years of oxalate research, the results are still inconclusive. Most of the research is based on meta-analysis, in vitro, and animal studies. Animals are usually given megadoses of a substance to accelerate any negative side effects. The results of animal studies are rarely duplicated in humans. It's not easy recruiting people for studies that can cause serious illness or death. What is oxalate? Oxalate is a salt of oxalic acid. To become a salt, the oxalic acid anion must bind to a cation. The most common cation is calcium, forming calcium oxalate salt. And salts are crystals. Being an anion, oxalic acid can bind with other cations to form iron, mercury, potassium, sodium, and zinc oxalate. One of the biggest myths about oxalate is that the only source is plant foods. Plants produce oxalate to bind with calcium in groundwater. Unlike animals, plants do not need calcium for bones and teeth. Animal foods, especially dairy, are the best source for dietary calcium. Oxalate comes from some plants and dairy foods, nuts and seeds, metabolizing foods, and red blood cells. Oxalate is classified as an anti-nutrient. Anti-nutrients bind with other nutrients, reducing the amount available for absorption. Oxalic acid can bind with essential nutrients and non-essential harmful metals. Kidney stone formation is rare. An estimated 1 in 10 people will have a kidney stone requiring medical treatment. By comparison, 3 out of 10 people worldwide are anemic. About 80% of kidney stones are calcium oxalate. Another common myth is that the amount of oxalate made by the body is negligible. And eliminating dietary oxalate prevents calcium oxalate kidney stones. In reality, about 40% of total oxalate is produced by your liver and red blood cells. While a low or no oxalate diet can reduce the risk of calcium oxalate stones, it does not eliminate the risk. Kidney stone formation is a complex process that involves more than eating a high oxalate diet. About 90% of the world's population will never have kidney stones requiring medical treatment. There are many risk factors, 
including heredity associated with kidney stone formation. A high oxalate diet is just one of those risk factors. Another popular myth about a low oxalate diet is that a carnivore diet prevents calcium oxalate kidney stones. The fact is just the opposite. Diets high in animal foods can increase the risk of having kidney stones. Reducing the risk of kidney stones involves a low oxalate, sodium, and sugar diet, eating less red meat and more fish and chicken, eating a high calcium diet, drinking plenty of fluids, and maintaining a healthy weight. Again, eating a low oxalate diet can reduce your risk, but it does not eliminate your risk. Even the 9 out of 10 people who will never have kidney stones are told to eat a low oxalate diet. Fad low oxalate diet promoters claim it's a panacea for obesity and all chronic disease, including autism and cancer. Does that mean autism is caused by oxalate, not the measles vaccine? Websites linking autism to oxalate refer to vague studies that all autistic children have high urine oxalate. Is the high urine oxalate levels due to genetic primary hyperoxaluria or to dietary hyperoxaluria? The miraculous improvements of a low oxalate diet in autistic children is anecdotal and unverifiable. I'm not saying you should not try a low oxalate diet. Be aware most information about oxalate toxicity is unverified. One tip-off is the repeated use of the word may. Maybe a health risk is not the same as a verified health risk. People with healthy kidneys have a low risk. The risk increases for people with kidney disease, primary hyperoxaluria, and oxalosis. Hyperoxaluria is when you have too much oxalate in your urine. Hyperoxaluria can cause kidney failure, resulting in oxalosis. Oxalosis causes oxalate crystals to deposit in joints and organs. While a high oxalate diet can cause hyperoxaluria, primary hyperoxaluria is genetic. Treating hyperoxaluria may require more than eating a low oxalate diet. Be cautious of websites promoting a low oxalate diet and dietary supplements to treat hyperoxaluria. Without proper treatment, hyperoxaluria can cause kidney and liver damage. Your liver and kidneys filter and remove most toxins from your body. People with liver and kidney disease are at high risk of potentially fatal toxin levels. The risk is not limited to oxalate. Essential nutrients like sodium, potassium, and iron can reach toxic levels. Excessive alcohol consumption is one of the leading causes of liver and kidney damage. Even moderate daily alcohol consumption increases the risk of kidney disease. And kidney disease increases the risk of kidney stones and hyperoxaluria. One goal of a low oxalate diet is preventing calcium oxalate kidney stones. Most low oxalate diets restrict dietary oxalate to 50 milligrams or less a day. A low oxalate diet is usually recommended for people with a history of calcium oxalate kidney stones. As I've shared, a low oxalate diet is only part of the treatment 
for preventing calcium oxalate kidney stones. Preventing calcium oxalate kidney stones requires more than just eating a low oxalate diet, including eating a moderate amount of protein. So which foods are low and high in oxalate? Animal foods and some plant foods, like fruit, are low oxalate. High oxalate foods include grains, most leafy greens, legumes, potatoes, nuts and seeds, and even the miracle spice, turmeric. Eating a low oxalate diet is simpler if you live in a country using the metric system. If you live in the U.S., you must deal with confusing cups and sizes. If 50 grams is the daily limit, any food providing more than 50 grams per serving is high oxalate. Some foods, like spinach, has over 500 milligrams per serving and should be eliminated completely. Avocados at 19 milligrams per serving or fruit is also classified as high oxalate. But what is one serving or fruit? According to Livestrong.com, one serving is one quarter of a fruit and has 4.75 milligrams of oxalate. Avocados come in a large range of sizes. One quarter of a number 80 size is less than one quarter of a number 28 size. According to kidneystonediet.com, one medium avocado has 19 milligrams of oxalate. But which size is medium? According to the USDA, one fruit without skin and seed is 136 grams. Does 136 grams of avocado have 19 milligrams of oxalate? Well, your guess is as good as mine. A medium baked potato with skin is classified as very high with 97 milligrams of oxalate. But what is a medium baked potato? According to the USDA, a medium potato ranges between 6.1 and 10 ounces. Does a 6.1 ounce or a 10 ounce medium baked potato with skin have 97 milligrams of oxalate? Eating a low oxalate diet requires accurate serving sizes. Using cups and sizes is confusing and unreliable. Does one small date or one large date have 27 milligrams of oxalate? Fortunately, only Americans must deal with cups and sizes. To simplify a low oxalate diet, many Americans turn to zero oxalate animal foods. The result is eliminating dozens of healthy plant foods. And eating too much protein increases the risk of having kidney stones. As I shared in 2019, a low oxalate diet is not a cure-all for kidney stones or diet-related chronic diseases. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.